maybe the best show that's been on television in the past year was, unfortunately for me, not Rings of Power. Um, I don't even think House of the Dragon, which I love House of the Dragon. I think the best show that's been on TV this year has probably been The Last of Us. Uh, this is a show that came out, broke the video game translation curse. It is truly spectacular television. Forget the fact that it was based on a video game. It just in and of itself is spectacular television and had tremendous success for HBO and everybody's now clamoring and waiting for season two and wondering what they're going to do with season two and how they're going to change it from the game and all this kind of stuff. And it's made Pedro Pascal, who was already big, to truly being a global phenomenon. And if you have not seen his Saturday Night Live episode that he hosted, you really, really must. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Anyway, one of the actresses in the series who I thought was fantastic, Melanie Linsky, mm -hmm. I think that's mm -hmm. how you pronounce her last name, who's also in Yellow Jackets, by the way, killer in Yellow Jackets. She is apparently, according to a report here for Variety, she's kind of been pitching the idea of a prequel series about Kathleen. Oh. Now listen, I love the Kathleen character. I, I, I just love this whole idea. I'm, I'm a big fan in movies and TV shows that examine what pain will do to people. Some of my favorite movies and stuff like that are things that have that theme about what pain will do even to very good people. And that one episode of The Last of Us when she's talking to her right-hand guy and explaining the stuff about her brother and how she turned into a monster. She turned into a monster, this wonderful, apparent, caring, loving person turned into a monster because of pain and pain will change a lot of people, everybody. It changes us all. And she went into this whole thing about the heartbreak, about what she had to endure and the, the t they took her brother and the loss of her brother and all that kind of stuff. And her entire image of what was good in the world shattered and it turned her into a monster. Well, she's talking about a little bit about maybe wanting to re-examine that and how does she become that, which is interesting. This comes to us from the article in Variety. They write the following. Uh, Melanie Linsky wants to return to The Last of Us. Only problem is, as fans of the HBO series know, her ruthless resistance group leader character Kathleen was killed off at the end of the first season. By the way, killed off in a really beautiful, beautiful way. Uh, if they wanted to go back and do an origin story, I would be there for it, Linsky said. The story of how this woman got into this crazy position would be really interesting. Linsky admits that she knew nothing about The Last of Us video game before she was approached about the project. I've never played a video game, she says. My thumbs don't work that way. I didn't even play Atari. I was reading books. I was reading D.H. Lawrence when I was a child. She jokes it was her husband, Jason Ritter, uh, who convinced her to take the part. He said, you have to do it, no questions asked. I was like, but I'm tired. He was like, I don't care. <laughs> tired. <laughs> tired. He was like, I don't care. That sounds like a husband who's played the video game, finding out their wife has a chance of being in the last of his thing. I don't care. You go do it. Uh, listen, again, I am not much one normally, for we can bring me back up the screen now, I'm not much, much one normally for going backwards in storytelling. Not, not that there isn't any prequel material out there that I didn't really like. There is some. But generally speaking, I'm more interested in what stories go forward, not about stories going backwards. But again, because one of my favorite thematic elements in stories is an examination of what how pain can change people, her story is one that could kind of fascinate me. And even just the whole idea about how they overthrew Fedra, about how this ragtag group of citizens rose up and overthrew Fedra, and maybe replace them with being something even worse. It's interesting to me, and I love the character. Uh, oh, and I forget, yeah, Jason is uh, John, John Ritter's, Ritter's son. John Ritter's son, yeah. John, boy, he's looking more and more like his dad every day, mm. isn't he? Uh, anyway, uh, Chris, you hear about this. Would you have any interest? I mean, obviously, anything with the term Last of Us is going to garner some oh, yeah. interest. Would you have any interest in a prequel series this almost feels like a fear the walking dead to the walking dead approach. Yeah. what do you think i mean first of all you could have read lady chatterley's lover and played video games those are not mutually exclusive <laughs> you can do both you guys I it's totally it fun <laughs> just murdering zombies and reading everything That's... but i i do think that this is kind of a weird idea just because 
the character was so polarizing. And first of all, to yeah. everyone who's saying, oh gosh, I hated her so much. If you hated her actions, that was the point. That was the whole reason that you wanted to not agree with her. Oddly but, enough, I just hated how snide she was. Oh, see, I loved it. I loved her deliveries of, yep. no, and kids I don't, die every I, no, day. But, but I don't mean like, her. the performance was great. Yeah. I just mean like, if someone's that snide to me, I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely. It, 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 her performance was great. She does such a good job. But yeah, you're like, oh, I can't wait for you to die. But <laughs> I feel like because we all came to that conclusion, we're not really going to sign up for the prequel of that. While that journey is super, super interesting, I love that. I love learning why somebody becomes monstrous. I think that's fascinating. I don't think it's going to garner the views in a series like we would want. Now, maybe if, if we take, think of it in like video game content, right? Maybe if this is DLC, maybe this is a quick, fun, downloadable mm. thing, a short of sorts or something like that. I would watch that. I would find that very, very compelling. I just don't see us, you know, inking out like eight episodes about that. I, I, you know what, while I think I would be down to see it because of the theme, I don't think it's something that will ever happen. I, I mean, there, there's just too much they could do with this world right now that I don't think that's the direction they're going to go. So I, I agree with you on that. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? The proposition of a Kathleen prequel series. I think there's a very interesting story there to tell. I'm just kind of wanting the story to go forward. But I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. You guys know I made the switch over to Mint Mobile a while ago. The process couldn't have been easier and I can't believe that I am spending less than a third of what I was spending on one of the other major carriers before. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia